seven years old, and in second grade, I like to play with Legos, and I like math. Did you know a fraction is part of a whole? It works like this. If you see a pizza that's cut into 12 slices, and you take one slice, you have one twelfth of the whole entire pizza. When I'm done, I hope you learn all the different kinds of math and some math vocabulary. I also want you to learn how important math is in the entire world. I have a secret. I taught myself math as a toddler. I'm even writing my own book about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and negative numbers. I'm also going to have lots of equations in my book. Math is everywhere. When you buy things, drive a car, pay bills, hold time, and even when you're cooking. Multiplication is used by a lot of different people. Did you know we even use multiplication to tell time on a clock? It works like this. If the small hand's on the seven, that means it's seven o'clock. If the small hand's on the eight, that means it's seven forty. I use multiplication five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. <laughs> forty. Five times eight equals forty. The clock says seven forty. I learned how to tell time because I kept getting frustrated not knowing how much time I had to play before bedtime. <laughs> But if I have to go to bed at eight and the clock says it's seven forty, then I can calculate how much time I have left. In this case, I have a whole twenty more minutes to play. First graders use multiplication too. For example, you can tell how many kids can be in a classroom. Just multiply how many kids are at a table. And how many tables there are? Addition is a word in our rule too, and can be very important. For example, let's say you're ordering cookies for all the kids at the party with the principal. You definitely want to make sure you have enough. So, if there are 30 students already at the party and 170 more students join the party, how many cookies do we need now? Wait. Let's say we invite the rest of the school and a thousand more students join. How many cookies do we need now? One thousand two hundred. Also said twelve hundred. Another example is in science. Let's say you make ten potions. Then you kind of go a little crazy and make nine more. Now you've made a hundred, of course. But let's say you only needed fifteen. Now we can use subtraction, which is just the opposite of addition, to figure out how many extra potions we have. So we can subtract the fifteen potions we need from the one hundred potions we have. That leaves us with fifty-five extra. Fractions are all around us too. We can even add and subtract them. For example, if I eat a quarter of a cupcake, then eat another half of the cupcake. I've eaten three quarters of the cupcake. <laughs> Or when my mom makes a pie, I eat two thirds of the pie. There's only one third of pie left for everyone else. <laughs> Did you know negative numbers are around us too? They work like this. If a negative number is added to a positive number. And there are more negative ones than positive ones. The sum's a negative number. For example, three plus negative ten equals negative seven. One hundred minus two hundred equals negative one hundred. Math is pretty cool. Look how much there is around us. There's really a lot of math. There are also equations, shapes, and patterns. If you want to learn more about all of this, make sure to listen to the people who are experts in math, like me. Thank you for listening to my presentation.